Oi, oi, oi. Welcome and good evening. I'm Cody and today I will do a video about something I've been waiting to do a video for a long, long time. Today I will be talking about web slides. And I really, really love web slides. I use them uh, for meaningful presentations. I have a lot of experience in it. And I uh, just want to share with you some of the art piece, uh, the presentation I'm showing here. Um, I will upload it to GitHub. You will find the link below the video and you can check it out. It's my uh, warp theme with, with space travel. Now web slides is just a way that you write or make presentations, not with PowerPoint, but actually with web technology. So it runs in the browser. So uh, you can do cool stuff like this transition animation I have where you kind of have this warp effect from a spaceship. Uh, really, really nice. I really love that slide. I got that inspiration once I visited uh, a website and uh, just found it super for web slides. Um, now, why, why should you care about using web slides at all, right? PowerPoint is so much easier and quicker and that stuff. But you can just do really amazing stuff in web slides. You can have these 3D graphs, for example. Uh, this is a plotly graph from a car frame structure. I can just embed it here, you know, I can rotate it, I can look nicely, uh, I can do stuff which in PowerPoint is not so simple, right? Um, it has now support for 3D stuff, but still like uh, this is just a whole different quality of a presentation. And also you can do uh, amazing effects here. For example, um, yeah, just this frame and then this pulsing connection to these items. And it's fairly easy to do that, right? You built your template and your code once. And then uh, for me, it kind of was like uh, it accumulates, you know, you put in more functionality over time. And of course, those slides don't look the first time you make a web slides presentation like this. But, you know, your, your own style grows and I really love it because uh, putting this on any slide now is, is a piece of cake for me. Um, it's e even, even easier than uh, in doing something like this in PowerPoint. And you can really do beautiful stuff, you know, like super quotations. Or this is also one I love is CSS only uh, expandable tabs, you know. And what people underestimate is um, this not only gives your uh, uh, slides structure but also it keeps it interesting because it's n you if you change the format from slide to slide um, it, it's very appealing because it's not static like the more staticness you have in your slide um, the le the more the chance the longer you talk about one item without doing or acting something they lose interest right so this is uh, need little tricks to keep the attention of the people there. By the way, the, the moving background is not good for presentations in general. Uh, this is just a fancy presentation for fun. Uh, maybe I will do another video about what is really a good presentation. But of course, it's breathtaking. That's why I like it. You can, like I said, also do these animations here, like letting stuff appear. This is a little table. Um, so super, super easy. You can do cool stuff with JavaScript libraries. I think this is typewriter where you can let it type out some, some text you want. Uh, really, really nice. Um, also, the, the biggest strength actually of this whole thing is you can program apps and tools in it. You know, For example, this was for machine learning, an app I had where I wanted to display uh, how a decision tree actually um, uh, looks like when you put data in. Okay, so you have here two data groups, uh, yellow and green. And then you see the corresponding machine learning algorithm uh, extracting some uh, data structure. So this is super, super cool to do stuff like this. And this is the, the true magic of uh, of these slides and you you have this in the slides and when you do a presentation with it and people see how you play learning is playful um, it is not it is not the staticness and logic 
um, people forget that that you transfer most through these uh, very basic um, very very basic functionalities which we have in ourselves playfulness uh, emotions very important always like emotions are so fundamental even in science um, if you don't take care of them uh, you will not reach your spectators you can do like I said even more like this nice code highlighting uh, I used here highlight JS really really nice project to just embed it you know or uh, have these um, galleries where you put stuff in and of course this is Manuel, <laughs> uh, the other dude on the channel this is me you know, we're both looking a little bit too fancy usually we don't look like that and of course the love of our life good cup of tea that's really what connected us and from the very first moment I just it just is art if you really drink real tea not what you can buy almost everywhere here in the west but real tea and it's it just enriches the spirit um, we will for sure make a few videos about tea because um, people people totally misunderstand this and have no understanding for it but also look here you know you can uh, easily um, uh, like here we put a I put a glow around us and you can also uh, what I like to do is always style here a little bit around for example I can deactivate the glow and you see it doesn't look even closely to um, so nice right I mean it's okay but then you can put on a little glow and it makes it look maybe a little bit too holy but just uh, fancier you know and uh, the fi f like amazing thing is you can do this stuff so easily with uh, CSS you know you you have your classes and, and it's it's nothing like no no problem right I, I really love that the simplicity um, once you have like it takes effort to build slides in the beginning or sometimes if you want to do something extraordinary but it pays off over time it's kind of like the beginning is harder but in the end uh, it's way more benefiting so this presentation I wanted to show you because this is one of my uh, current masterpieces I have for slides and I have many more ideas to do slides in the future but I don't have way too less time uh, to do this but just that you get an understanding that web slides the whole sense behind web slides is to make things living breathing and you can use this to teach people right to take them on a journey and to let them discover together with you knowledge and this will help them understand it in an interactive and and natural more natural way and not natural but more natural way if you like the video please like it and subscribe to our channel uh, I will definitely put out more content regarding websites how to build them and so forth I think it's a really amazing opportunity uh, to give uh, higher quality educational uh, material but also or uh, also in general give teaching material so stay tuned and uh, the next video will then be about how the code actually looks like behind these hyperspace websites um, so stay tuned and see you soon